Hello everyone, we're here at the Epcot Flower and Garden Show. What are you looking for? Flowers or gardens? Flowers. Uh, I'm looking for gardens, so we'll get everything in today, but mostly food. As with every Epcot festival, there are so many specialty food booths. However, most of them don't open until about 11 o'clock. So our first stop is to hit a ride. We're gonna go to Soren, the ride that inspired the name for our channel. Okay, while we wait in line, we're all checking off what foods we wanna try today. So this one, Ooh, where are you looking at? So oh. orange cream is in the Disney Traders and then American Adventure has key lime. Oh, Joffrey's. So I'll just have to get both. <laughs> the smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat. Just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worth power. wanted the ribeye. Do we need everything? <laughs> it has cream cheese frosting. I love cream cheese frosting. Do you really? Is I do actually, yes. Oh. Okay, where's the... All right, so it looks like we're coming in hot. At the farmer's feast, we're gonna get a few things. You can't find it. Chilled potato and leek soup, char grilled bison ribeyes, and spice cake. Right Here we are in the Odyssey where we're gonna sit down and eat a pile of food. And then we'll do a little shopping here, see what's going on. 155.64? That's me. I'll also be. And a beer flight as well. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we started at the Farmer's Feast and then uh, you guys went to brunch cot while we got stuff at the Odyssey and you should not have left me alone because I got one of everything. Okay. All right, so you guys picked up uh, stuff from brunch cot. You got the avocado toast, toast. and the Fruit Loop milkshake. <coughs> shrimp and grits. And the shrimp and grits. And these. And these are the bacon and cinnamon rolls. Uh, while you were gone, I got the, the, the what is it, the shrimp tempura, tempura trip. and then the uh, the brie that you asked for, and then this was the the lemon curd pie. Yeah, the lemon curd pie, and I remember hearing that that was really good, so I couldn't say no. And then of course they had a citrus beer flight. So what are you gonna do? Can you talk about this place? Um, well, these were the things we picked up first. Um, uh, this is the uh, fishy uh, swa soup. What? It's no, potato. It's, it's potato, potato and leek. It's, it's chilled potato and leek soup. Yeah. And then we got the cake with the cream cheese frosting and the tenderloin. Is that what it is? Bison. Bison. Bison Sir ribeye. Or I'm going to start with the Fruit Loop shake. That's fun. Tastes like you'd think, like a milkshake with a bowl of cereal. Very good. The brie is so good. Mm. I'm gonna try one of these too. Are you sure you can eat this tail at the bottom? 
I don't know. Sometimes on shrimp they leave the tail on, sometimes they take it off. Well, I'm not going to eat it. Mm. Very good though, light and crispy and mm -hmm. if you like fried shrimp, this is like the best version of it. It's okay. sweet. I will. And the tenderloin is rough, tough. Rough Where do we tough? get that again? Excuse that was at the uh, it's fresh. creamy, creamy leek fondue, red wine butter sauce, and whipped red wine goat cheese. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not a fan of goat cheese. Mm. I'm gonna try a little tenderloin if I can. It's tough. It's tough. It's not as good as the carne asada we had at no, one time. No, that, that was so was good. That was so tender. This is almost like a good piece of roast beef. Um, like not, you know, like not a tender steak, but I don't know. Like that's a giant. Bowl that was a big soup. bowl of. It was a really big bowl of soup. So you get your money's worth if you like it. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. Mm. I saw her pouring it, and she had like this huge ladle, and she just yeah. like poured the whole thing, in, and I was like, oh my god. Mm. That tastes like a carrot cake almost. These like are so good. They're like those are from brunch cot, right? They're like the Cinnabon things from Taco Bell on steroids. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna try one. It's got a great filling, nice and sweet. Mm. I don't mind the bacon, but it would have been fine without the bacon. Yeah, <clears throat> I didn't get any in my bite. Yeah, I think I did. I went for the side that actually had more bacon on it, but I didn't really taste it. <laughs> You'll like it. Yeah. It is really good. Yeah. I honestly think I like that part. This is good. The shrimp and grits more. Like I said, if you like a fried shrimp, this is like as good as it gets. Like, it's got a good batter on it, but. I'm not a huge fan of fried shrimp. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is that? It's basically a lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. I think that's my favorite thing here. I heard that was the don't miss. <clears throat> Although so good, there's right? not much less yeah. left of the cheese. Just a little Who debris. What's yeah. the question? Was that good? <laughs> this? Don't listen to these jokes. Yeah. Last but not least is my beer flight. So the first one up was the UFO Citrus it. Hazy Wheat Beer, and it's good. Uh, light citrus, take a light, light orangey taste. It's kind of like a Blue Moon or something. Citrus Honey Cream Ale. What? It's Farmer's mm. Market, not Farmer's Fresh or whatever. No, I know, but I'm saying it's good. That's interesting. It's in mm. a little bit of a honey taste. Last but not least, Orange Octane Imperial Sour. Mm. That's sweet, almost not like beer at all. See, I think that one's cute. Cuter than the pigment. Okay, it's cute, but my biggest problem is... Is that it doesn't actually like say the festival name anywhere. That's your or, biggest problem. Or Walt Disney World. What? <laughs> They're so cute. There's so many. Wait, what do I do? Oh, I kind of hate the material though. It's reversible. Oh my god, is it? <gasps> it's the same hat. Yeah. You get two in okay. one. Okay. Actually, hers is pretty much reversible so too. Oh yeah. Did you see mine? So this hat would Wait. actually match better with your outfit. Okay That's guys, so we're gonna buy this right now. Okay. So over near Mexico at Arden de Fiesta, we have the 
what is it? What is it again? Taco, Taco Vampiro, Vampiro, which has barbacoa in it. Is that correct? Yes. Which, I've which been is a kind of yeah. kind of beef. Um, no, it's the way they cook it. Yeah. So they have like different types of barbacoa. Uh, so there's girl, beef and like goat, are typically the main ones. Oh, okay. I also got a little uh, Mexican drink to go with it. That's just for me. Don and Ariana went to Florida Fresh, and I believe they got some corn. This is really good. What is it? Watermelon cucumber slush. Ooh, oh. I did hear that was good. And this is the corn. Oh, that, that looks, looks like the viral TikTok where you grill the cheese and put the cucumber, oh. I mean the pickle, pickle in, it. in it. Yeah, I want to do that. Mm. Yeah, I've done it. It's good. Mm. Uh, so good. You like it? Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be on the other side of the room. Mm. I'm just going to smell this is delicious. Delicious. Oh, wow. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fiesta boy. You like this? Do you know what that means? What does I it mean? Party, party today. today yeah. You just keep saying it. I'm just picking this up. This it's fun talking. to say. Mm. Wow. Isn't it delicioso? It is. Oh yeah, it picks up pretty easy. Yeah. Mm. That is really good. It's like fried mozzarella wrapped around stuff. It is good. Yeah. Oh, good. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Back from Joffrey's, right? And we got an orange cold brew. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't taste orange. Oh, well, that's a surprise. What do you taste? Cold brew. This is so flipping good. Yeah. It tastes like a cold brew. It doesn't taste like much of anything else. Thumbs down to the Joffrey's booth. for your vacation? No. Yes. But like... Ugh. Oh my god, I want one. I want one. Look at this guy. It's Ducky Momo. Don't kiss that. Ducky Momo. What is that from? Denise and Curb. Oh. We were Didn't watching Thea. Ducky Momo at a park? Which park was that? That was Hollywood Why Studios. Why would you say it like that? We're here in China and from the joy of tea, it's the honey hibiscus bubble tea. Oh no, you got the wrong straw. I'm What's just kidding. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I was so sure. I'm like, I knew what I was getting. Plus they were out of the other kind, so I it was the only choice. It's upside down. I 
also we got from China. We got some specialty chips. We got bugle, steak flavored bugles that are sealed for your protection. I'm gonna explode here. How's the tea? It's good. good. I'm not a huge fan, but I, I liked it more than I thought I was gonna. It's hard. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. It's sweet. Yeah, that's even the lightly sweet one. Yeah. So we got uh, the steak flavored bugles. Oh, what? It's charcoal flavored bugles. Charcoal? Charcoal? It, but it must be steak. That it's must be, be steak, steak, right? <laughs> it better not taste like charcoal. <laughs> and we got some cucumber potato chips. Does it smell good? No. Oh. It smells like a cucumber though. Alright. I'm gonna try a bugle or two. Charcoal flavored bugles. No. Mmm. Right Needs more lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're very tasty, but they don't have a strong flavor. Well, you got it. Can I have that? All right. Give that a try, Jim. Cucumber flavored potato chips. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you like them? No. Oh. <laughs> but they taste like cucumber. It tastes funny. Because they have kind of a big cucumber flavor. <laughs> it's agreed, no one likes the cucumber. Um, yeah, I liked the, uh, the bugles were fine, and I liked the tea. The tea was really good. I need more tea. I like the tea. Yeah. The tea is getting rid of the disgusting flavors. <laughs> so pretzel bread? Yes. I'm going to get the, yeah. I'm going to try the Steigl Brewery Rattler Raspberry. Okay, I'm going up. What are we doing? Hello. Are you are you old enough? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Does not taste like beer. No. I like it though. It's sweet. It's a nice refreshing change of pace for the day beer? that it doesn't taste like beer. I know but it's beer? It is. Uh, this is the pretzel bread with the ham and cheese on it. Anybody tried it? No. No. Dig in? I think it's like in four pieces. Oh nice. That's good. Can table only in America. Mufaletta. That's what we came for. What? Uh, what is the other thing? Banana Foster pudding. Ooh. I would actually would not have guessed that. Want to try? It kind of looked like a yeah, deep stew. I like it, but I like olives. <laughs> oh, that bread pudding is really good. I 
I will have a little nibble. That's the best part. Mm. Well done. They gave us stem. It's good actually. It's good. The, the bread and the cheese kind of make it. Have you tried this? No. So good. Mm. I love banana pasta. It's really good. Mom, <gasps> you want us in the shade? I do. <clears throat> now, I got the Ghost in the Machine double IPA. I had to get a beer because I'm a true American. Those cool, it's those cool garden thingies. <laughs> okay, so there's the fruity, but what is the drink? <laughs> so from the Japan booth, the Hanami booth. We have the frushi, as well as this dragon fruit. dragon fruit sake drink. Mm, it's sweet. It's good. I'll allow you to try. Love the color. Isn't it pretty? I'm gonna have some frushi. Hair on my face. Here we go, frushi time. Yep. Mm. Mm. Good. Now you really like their uh, their snacks at the last festival here too. Yeah, that's really good. That didn't last long. Very mild. I like you don't it. Really taste them. Yeah. I think we should get another one. They're toasted. Okay, Morocco's next. We are probably just gonna get a drink here. Pomegranate mimosa. I don't think, did anybody want the hummus? No? Okay. So here's the pomegranate mimosa. It's okay. It's sweet. Not as bad as the last drink I had from here. Did you want to try? Sure. That was so bad. That really was. That was... But this one is better. Just okay. From the Isla Fresca, we are going to get the Tropical Breeze, the non-alcoholic version. Good, bad, ugly, what? I feel like there's alcohol in it. No. Taste it. Wait, I have to take this off. Maybe it's the lime. It probably is the one. It's not bad. Let's see what the others think. Oh, it's grapefruit. Oh. So this just fall off the trees like this? Oh, just magically yeah. twinkle down the land and trees. These beautiful green trees just all oh, drop the trees and they flutter down. It's Disney magic. It is. It's kind of like too tangy for me. Like I don't, I don't know if that's the right word, but it's just kind of like strong. It tastes almost like an alcoholic drink, but it's non-alcoholic. Thought so too, but we think maybe it might be the lime and. It's just too strong. Yeah. Um. Garden. Do we know what we're getting here? 
like everything. Like yeah, every. We're more of okay, <laughs> let's do it. So here's what we're getting: chicken and waffles, pollinator flatbread, honey, mas mascarpone cheesecake, and a honey peach cobbler freeze. We got the chicken and waffle. That looks good. We got the cheesecake. Last but not least, we got the, the drink. Guys, this is so good. I will waste no time trying. Yummy! Is it good? The flatbread? I yeah. like I liked it a lot. I was excited for the flatbread, I don't really like it. The cheesecake is good, but it tastes like cheesecake. I don't think it tastes like anything. <laughs> the waffle is definitely more flavorful than the chicken, but I guess they go good together. Ari says no. You know what? That that is very much like the first review I heard about this. They just went, eh, I don't know about this. And they couldn't explain it. I don't think it has a lot of flavor. The chicken just has something on it. That tastes funny to you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's close enough oh chicken that I, I liked it okay, but I liked the waffle a lot with the syrup and stuff on it. Listen, the honey. this is my favorite. If you, have to, if you have to say it's close enough to chicken, I don't think that's something <laughs> I want to try. Well, I mean, it's like... I didn't taste it, but after that, I don't want it. So. Okay. <laughs> that is, so is delicious, though. Yeah, that, everybody agreed that that was the best thing. Behold the last snack of the day. Pineapple with Fanta. Pineapple Dole Whip with Fanta Pineapple, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you just straw with that? Yeah, I do. I feel like... Alright, so this is probably the last snack of the day. From the flower and garden. What was your favorite? What about you? Avocado toast? That's not mine. No. Um, I will say that uh, my favorite was the um, Raspberry Rattler beer from Germany. Mm, that was good. <laughs> um, I don't know. It is a hard choice. We ate a lot of stuff today. We really like went around the entire world showcase. I liked the frushi. The frushi, yes. Mm -hmm. That was good. You like the Japan stuff. I like the lemon rang pie. Tartlet. <laughs> mm, tartlet. <laughs> mm, tartlet. I like the shrimp and grits, but I don't know if it's Mmm. I remember you really liked that, yes. There was a lot of good food today. There was also a lot of things that not everyone agreed on or that they didn't like. And I ended up eating the leftovers and now everyone wants dinner and I'm about to burst. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had a lot of fun and ate a ton of food and that's gonna do it for us for today, guys. Nice work, pal. Guys, 
look for flower and garden. They planted this tree. It's gonna be fun. You're so funny. Okay. You can put a plant in there. I kill every plant I know. <laughs> this is cute too. It's like, I... it's like you're related to us. No, it's you can do a. All right, yeah. I'm gonna give this this restroom review a seven out of ten. Good scores for proximity and low wait times. Full soap dispenser, but uh, loses points for uninspired work on the tiling. I think you need to know that the world isn't Epcot. No, but all eleven countries are represented here. I can't keep saying that. There's more than 11 countries.